Electric Friends, a Gary Newman podcast celebrating the tracks by a musical pioneer. In 2017, Gary Newman released his 18th studio album, Savage, Songs from a Broken World. The album continued Gary's run of fantastic industrial rock albums, following Splinter, Dead Sun Rising and so on. The album would see Gary return to the top 10 albums in the UK and landed as high as number 2, behind only the latest album from Newman fans, The Foo Fighters. This was the first time Gary had reached this high since Dance hit number 3 back in 1981. It was an incredible moment for Gary and a proud moment for Numanoids everywhere. The album was led by the single My Name Is Ruin, a song with a soaring chorus that featured the backing vocals of Gary's middle child, Persia, who was then just 11 years old. It would quickly become a live favourite and one of his best songs of the last 10 years. When they caught me and broken, I'm you. When they caught me, I'm you. When they caught me, I'm you. the album that would become Savage, Gary offered his fans a closer look at the process of how he made his records. He launched a campaign on Pledge Music, where fans could pay a monthly fee and would see every step of how he wrote and recorded songs. My Name Is Ruin started life as a song with a working title of March. Savage is a concept album centred around the blending of Western and Eastern cultures in a post-apocalyptic world that has become covered in deserts as a result of global warming. The songs are about the things that people do in such a harsh and terrifying environment, Newman said in an interview. It's about a desperate need to survive, and they do awful things in order to do so, and some are haunted by what they've done. That desire to be forgiven, along with some discovered remnants of an old religious book, ultimately encourages religion to resurface, and it really goes downhill from there. As Gary was writing the album, Donald Trump was elected President of the United States. It made sense to make Trump and his climate decisions as the catalyst for the apocalypse theme of the album. My Name Is Ruin is about a man living in a post-apocalyptic world whose daughter gets taken away from him. His whole life from then on becomes the need to get her back. According to publicity materials released at the time, it's said that the song is a menacing industrial march in which the unrelenting mechanised intensity is countered by the humanity of its sweet, swirling backing vocals which exude a palpable Egyptian influence. And certainly you can hear that the song, much like a lot of the Savage album, has stunning Egyptian and Arabian themes. The song features Persian Newman on backing vocals, which is apt considering the song's meaning. I actually interviewed Gary at the launch of Savage back in 2017 and spoke to him about working with Persia on the song. Annoyingly, I don't have the actual audio to share. If I ever do find it, I'll put it online. But I do have the transcript and he said, 
It was a very teary-eyed moment. The first time when she came into the studio and I wanted her to sing, I had this Arabian line. I can sing it, but I just didn't have the feel I was looking for. So she came home from school and came in and said hello, and I said, do you fancy just trying a little singing? I've got this thing that would sound lovely with you singing it. It took her five or ten minutes to actually listen to it and learn it, and it was quite complicated. It's loads of little bits, and then she sung it four times, five times. Each one was good. I kept them all, trapped them up, but then she'd be in the street after half an hour. She totally lost interest. She just wandered off. And luckily, she just nailed it straight out of the box, so to speak. Wanna beg for nothing than you I would always find my way to The song was recorded by Gary and produced and programmed by Aid Fenton with bass from Tim Slade. It begins with Gary's brand of harsh and distorted keyboard and guitars before Gary begins singing as an angry vigilante of sorts as he seeks to reclaim his daughter from an unknown nemesis or rival group. When I caught you poison, you knew. When I caught you shameful, you knew. When I caught you liar, you knew. I would always find my way to you. Several months before the album was released, Gary unveiled what is perhaps his greatest music video for a song, For My Name Is Ruin. The video was directed by visual artist and musician Chris Corner of I Am X, filmed in the hot desert of Southern California around 29 Palms and Joshua Tree. The video features Gary's daughter Persia alongside her father, both wearing his Arabian style post-apocalyptic desert gear. This was Persia's first full session at filming and lip syncing to a song. Speaking about the video in his book Revolution, Gary said, Everyone at BMG thought that My Name Is Ruin should be the first single. So in June, I drove out to the Joshua Tree area to meet up with Chris Corner. Chris had agreed to make the video for Ruin, which was a huge relief for me. I had a great deal of faith in Chris's vision and his ability to create a visual setting that would make sense of the song. My daughter Persia had sung on the track, so I persuaded her to take part in the video as well. As bad luck would have it, the day we chose to film was also the hottest of a short but intense heat wave. A heat wave in the desert is like no other, and it was shockingly hot. The cameras were wrapped in ice packs and still constantly overheated. But it was a great day for filming the sort of landscape and conditions the song demanded. Persia, who had never done anything like it before, was an absolute star. Chris came up with the idea of putting a white cross on her forehead, which made perfect sense, as in the story she'd been abducted by the righteous, a group of religious fanatics. That white cross became a symbol for much of what followed, both with my onstage image, tour posters and more. I'd taken my drone to the shoot and Chris was able to get some amazing footage with it that was put into the finished video. My favourite video up until then had been I Am Dust, also directed by Chris, but now the My Name Is Ruined video eclipsed even that. A proud moment for Gary was Persia herself joining him on stage for several performances of the song, live in front of thousands of people. And back to my interview, Gary said, she wouldn't come to rehearsals with me because we have people there, we have fans who want to watch rehearsals and she'd only do it as a soundtrack once everybody had gone out. But her first gig, the first night she did it, there was 3,300 people, quite a lot of people, a massive stage, a great big building. She'd never had an earpiece before, she'd never had a proper mic before. The arrangement we do live is slightly different from the album, she had to get her head around that. She couldn't remember the words, so she'd got them written down on a stand. And there was so much about it that was daunting and intimidating. I said to her, when you walk out people are going to be really happy and they'll be looking out for you so just give them a little wave and let them know you appreciate what they're doing and she remembered all my little guidance she did everything and they went mental absolutely mental <laughs> my name is ruin has definitely become a fan favorite in recent years here's what you had to say del taylor said this song hooked my daughter on gary newman so i was very happy she also wants to sing and loves persia's voice on this Tina Marie said, fantastic, the first song he sang the first time I saw him live. I have that line tattooed on my arm and was very relevant at the time I heard it. 
Kay Richardson said, I didn't think I'd like any of his later stuff, but listened to this a few times and I was hooked. Love the video too. Christina Reef added, a perfect example of him still being relevant in music when many of his contemporaries have long since faded. One of my top five songs. Ian Charles said, uh, is his best single in the last 20 years. In particular, it rocks live. During gigs, it's become a highlight, getting a tremendous reception every time I've seen it performed. And uh, finally, John Mitchell said, I loved it so much, I named my Ickle Woof Woof Ruin. And there's a picture of his dog, so there we go, that's how much he loves it. And to cement uh, Gary's place in the modern music scene, an amazing moment occurred in 2022 when uh, My Name Is Ruin was featured in an episode of South Park, of all things. In the uh, season 25 episode, Help My Teenager Hates Me, My Name Is Ruin features uh, several times when Cartman and the boys go on an airsoft rampage. We got new partners, guys! That's awesome! I wish I had a dad, and that I didn't live in a hot dog. Oh, we got you a partner too, Eric. You might remember Stan's Uncle Jimbo. Did somebody say something about airsoft against teenagers? Ow! Eh, ow, I said hit you, bitch! That's it, son! Light him up! Hit! Hit! Bruh! Yeah! My Name is Ruin is a true highlight of Gary's recent years and a perfect example of how he has stayed relevant and is still making the best music he can with each new album. Uh, that's it this time I'll be back soon with another Newman track get in touch over email on newmanpodcast at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Newman Podcast you can download and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts including Apple Podcasts Spotify and Amazon and at newmanpodcast.com Friends, a Gary Newman podcast celebrating the tracks by a musical pioneer. pioneer.